What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today I have some basketball mystery tins here. Kind of something a little different, but I want to try these out. I think they're showing up at a bunch of stores and people want to know what they're all about. So we're going to check out the tins and what's inside. If you guys like these videos, you want to see more, like the video, subscribe. We'll have tons more like it and not like it. And also we have a holiday whatnot stream coming up. So links down below. Make sure you always check out whatnot for all stuff like breaks, singles, repacks, mystery packs, stuff like that. So we'll be live on there as well as others. Definitely give them a look and we'll have some fun stuff for the holidays. So stay tuned. But here we go. We have... These five, I picked these. There's more than just these five, but I chose these ones. And here's the information for these real quick. So I'll pick up the jaw one. These are roughly like 25 at retail, and I think 30, 35 at resale from what I've been told. And then you only get uh, four packs. I believe they're all uniform, which is a wasted opportunity because it would have been cool if there's more mystery. Now, you get two 2021 Prism and two 2021 Optic packs. And I believe that's it what kind of pack it is, I guess we'll find out. But they could have made this super cool with tons of different packs, some kind of cool chase packs to look for, but I believe they're all pretty uniform. The tins themselves are pretty cool, so let's actually check those out. But let me uh, cut this and let's see what's inside. I don't want to damage my tin because I really like it. So let me just do this right here very slowly. So I picked these five. I got these at resale, so thanks to the uh, person who sold these to me. All right, so let's uh, slide this off. Gotta go jaw. So yeah, you get these packs and let's uh, check this one out. So NBA Lab and MJ Holding kind of team up to make these. Once again, not really a mystery, but people are calling them mystery tins. I like the number on there and okay. Then we just have some packs in here, is that it? These remind me of the uh, Pokemon tins I used to buy. As far as the tin goes, I used to store some cards in there, so you probably could store some in here, whether it's in here or take this out and maybe fit some top-loaded cards in here. Like, I mean, it fits. Yeah, you could do that. There you go. You could use it for storage. So that's pretty much it for the tins. I'll give a quick look at the others when I get to them, but and there's a dent in my jaw. But there we go. So kind of a cool little thing there. But let's see what's in these packs. Let's see if they're good, if they're bad, or if they're in the middle. The packs should be pretty uniform. The question is, what kind of packs are these? So here we go. Start with the uh, first one here. I think they're just retail packs. And yeah, pink pulsars are on this pack. So that means it's the retail box. So let's open it up and let's pull a pink pulsar. Here we go. It'd be cool to get one of those. And there should be an autograph in every box. So you can get autographs, I guess, and pink pulsars from these. And you guys like these videos? Nice card there, Halliburton. Once again, like, subscribe, love more. Posted tons of mystery stuff, memorabilia mystery boxes, card mystery boxes with case hits guaranteed. All sorts of mystery products, and we have more. So I'm trying to optic now. Tons of mystery everything going on recently. So there's black would mean, yeah, retail box as well. So these are both retail box, so you you can get some decent stuff in these. The odds on these packs aren't the best, but you do have the odds to get them. So we did uh, the, what's it called? The Mega Mystery Power Box. And this is another product that's somewhat similar, but at the same time, no. I mean, Luca, I'll take Luca. Don't mind that, whoops. But uh, yeah, okay, I like that. And there's a Kong Wu. Let's uh, go back to Prism, but they make a bunch of different products. There's the stuff you see at kind of Walmart, Meyer, things like that. You'll see a lot of those various products all over the place. Repackaged products like this, like the Mega Mystery Box. So there you go. Yeah, it's, it's decent stuff. The main highlight I can say from their products is that in the past, we've seen some older rare packs in these products. That's the main plus. So, all right. And then also in the background, we have Shay and Dre from, from the mystery box we've done. So we've done like, I don't know, four or five different mystery things recently. Check those out. And there's Pac-Man cards, Instagram. On IG, we're posting a lot of good stuff. And I like what I see here. Russ, my house. I like that. Cool looking card. But videos that are exclusive to Instagram are being posted. Let's do Trey next. And kind of short openings. If you guys are looking for baseball, other sports, do it on Instagram. 
in a minute and a half or less. And if you guys like that, I'll bring it on to the main channel. So I'm testing out those other sports. You like the baseball stuff we're doing on there? Let me know. If you don't like it, let me know. Uh, this one's pretty stuck on here. Yeah, gotta rip it off. Alright, and also various card content I don't post here. Although I do post some shorts on the channel, so check out the shorts. Here's Trey from his pack. That's a... Jeez. Skipping leg day. And... It's a cool tin. Got their number, and that's really it, honestly. But they're nice little collectible tins, so you're paying for the tin for sure. Not that oversized cardboard box. Alright, let's get our packs out. Back on top. What do you guys think? Like the tins? Like the art? Don't like it? I think they're, uh, I think they're nice. They're nice. Start with the optic this time and alternate. But comment your thoughts down below. And if you open these for yourself, what else you got? We'll have about 20 packs here, I think. So I hope to get something. We already have a little bit of something, something, but let's see some more. A lot of purple so far. I think everyone's had one. It has a Buki and a Kogi. Okay. Here is this one. Now, for our upcoming stream as well, what's some stuff you want to see for the holidays? Not everything's set in stone. Ah. Bad news, Banes. But if you're something you want to see, let me know. Oh, I think we're supposed to go optic. Oh, I think we have an autograph here, actually. I'm not holding my breath for this one. It's Nuggets colors. I'd be happy with a Hampton or a Najee and just not someone really random. Yeah, we, yeah, we got Pumley. All right, hey, it's an autograph. I can't complain about that because not guaranteed at all. Random packs for sure. So, and there's Killian Hayes stepping up. All right, one more optic. But these packs, imagine if there were some chase packs and a variety, you never know what you're getting. That would be a lot of fun. So, oh, no, no, it's a Hornets rookie. I'm not ready for this. I mean, polls wise, it's been decent. All right, here we go. Poku. You know what? I, I'll actually take that. He's been playing pretty well. As much as I trolled and was like, oh, great, Mr. Big Head. I can make the case he's probably. Is he the second best from the Hornets? He's playing. He's playing for sure. The Martin Twins, they're also playing. So props to them. It's Vernon and definitely Grant Riller you don't want. But yeah, Mr. Big Head. Nick Richards it is. And Lamello, of course. I like it. Keep it up, fellas. Keep it up. My collection. Love to see that. Alright, next tin. Now, whenever you guys see new products from MJ, especially, or other stuff like that, sometimes I miss it. Feel free to uh, let me know and say, hey, man. New stuff dropped. Can you review these? I didn't know these dropped until someone said, hey, you want to buy these off me? And I said, sure. So that's how we have a review for these. All right, here we go. Next, four packs. There's our little Giannis tin. I like that one. I don't know what's up with the finger. Interesting art. It's different. I like different. All right, there we go. Next, we'll start with, let's go in order. Why not? Got an auto. If we can get a Pulsar, that'd be really cool. Can we get a Pulsar? Huh. <laughs> Didn't think that'd be me today, but Obi Tobit, I mean, hey, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right, let's see if it's a good player. Let's just one, two, three, it. Ready? And, oh, it's stuck. Oh, here we go. It's Luca. It's Luca. Oh my gosh. Don't look too closely. But hey, it's a pole star. 242, Kleba, I like that. Hey, wasn't guaranteed. The players, you know, we have... We haven't gotten the best players, but I'm just happy to see one. A Pulsar, not easy to hit, and then also an autograph. And a Rookie Hollow. Yeah. And we still have a chance to get more. So let's see. One. Two. So nice we got him twice. So nice we got the same exact picture twice. There you go. Alright. And two more packs. But in December, I always try to go hard, post the best stuff I can. So stay tuned. We have more memorabilia. We have some big random hobby pack openings. Once again, big streams for 
uh, whatnot. We have tons of stuff happening, some some special different openings. So stay tuned to the channel this month. We're going hard, bring you the best stuff. And there's still time to suggest some things you want to see down below. There's still some uh, some time to get some videos planned. So now's the time to ask for something that, hey, Zion too, something you might want to see. Nora, we have two tins left. I really can't complain about the haul. Now, what I'd like the Pulsar to be, I don't know, Grizzlies, like Bane, or maybe Lamello. Sure, but the odds of pulling one of those isn't the best. Those are pretty rare. Number for retail is hard. Here's the tin for uh, Curry. Had to go Lucky Curry. This tin will probably be the best in terms of contents. And yeah, there you go. 30. Got the 30 art right there behind Curry. They look good. Maybe I'll store some stuff in these. There we go. And there we go. All right. Let's start with Optic this time. I'd like to hit a black one and one. I know we can't hit the Halliburton because I know the guy who pulled the Halliburton, but anything else is fair game. Here we go. I don't like that insert set. I don't like that insert set. You know what? That is so wrong. That's so wrong. They know what they're doing. Putting the uh, white cards in, in Court King's Blasters with the blank slates, putting these black border cards here. They think they're so funny. Bravo, guys. Good job, Paninian. Taking us out. A lot of purples. I think every pack almost has had a purple. And... Mobamba. Alright. Time for Prism. Auto or pink would be nice. Another one, that is. Also, Red Waves, which I don't like. Don't want to see those. And... Nice base rookie. Killian Hayes again. The next Prism pack... Is... Green, one, oh, okay, rookie, two, KD, three, magic, not bad. Final tin. So, idea, I like it. Nice little collectible tin, fun. The packs, I don't hate the packs they put in, but once again, I just wish they switched it up. Knowing what I'm going to get is, is nice, but maybe look for... Rare inserted packs of this. Don't make it impossible. Look for hobby packs. Look for something else. Maybe each base pack or tin has a set amount of packs. So Ja has Prism. Luca has Optic. Select retails in Zion. Or Giannis has Chronicles. I don't know. Something like that. That would have been cool. Now I'm like, oh, I need to find the Ja tin. Oh, I have to find the Giannis tin. That would be fun. But... Yeah, I don't know. Year one of the tins, maybe they need some uh, trial. Let's alternate again. All right, here's the end of the opening. What is that there? That's something here? Is that another? That's not a... Oh, it's a red wave. In the reflection, it looked pink, but... All right. Is rookie? Is it rookie? No. Tower hero. Color match. Tower hero, okay? That's, that's something. I like trying these though. Am I gonna get my money back? No. Is it gonna be fun? Yeah. Could it be more fun? Yeah. But hopefully they have, uh, oh, Hornets again. Hopefully they're motivated to make this even better next year. Right now, I think it's just a solid fun rip. I like the tins. I like the tins and uh, the packs at least have a ceiling. There's some packs or pack formats that are not very good with no ceiling. Okay. Black! Yeah, not this time, fellas. Mm -hmm. Fool me once. Okay, final one. Here we go. We've seen a decent amount of stuff here. Can we get one more? We have a silver that looks off. Oh, it's a silver insert. Okay, here we go. Alright, here we are. I like these. Not the most common. USA Basketball, David Robinson. And there we go. So that's what we got in our tins. And fun little opening. I like the tins. I don't know where I'm going to put them. I don't know what I'll put inside them. But could put cards. Could put something else. Here's a little recap of everything we got. So these are retail packs. 
across the board, it seems, with uh, with the ceiling, which is nice. And okay, four, I'd say. But here's kind of a recap. What are your thoughts? Comment down below. Do you like this product? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? Are you disgusted by it? Are you in love with it? What do you think? So here's our highlights. We got some highlights. Zion got a pink pulsar. Mr. Big Head, which is looking better by the day. I'm very happy, happy now that we're getting some of him. I got an autograph, Plumley, Russ My House Purple, Luca, and Tyrese Halliburton. So nice little hand of stuff here. I'll go like um like this. What do you guys think? Fun little opening and another option at the retail stores if you wanna try these out. So overall, solid product, could definitely improve. I just give it not a number rating, just to kind of rate it, I would say it's like an average right on average product. Yeah, could be worse, could be better, but I do like that we get some, um, A, we know what packs we get. There's a plus and a minus with that. And then also you have some ceiling because there's some packs they could have put in these that don't have good odds. So that's the drawback of get any random packs. Look at the mega mystery power boxes and look at the packs to give you theirs. So that's the kind of downside of being mystery packs. But there we go. I enjoyed opening these and we'll have some more mystery stuff soon. So stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching as always. Like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, I will see you later.